leave at once. The castle's gates open for no one. I must meet King Dark Cacao Cookie. Our village is in danger. What is the meaning of all this? Explain yourself. Our village has been starving for days. Things are so desperate, the adults are stealing things, and wild beasts keep attacking everyone. We need your help. Please, send the Watchers. This is ill news indeed. That is, if you speak the truth. We've received word of villages on the outskirts disappearing one by one, but such rumors are easily exaggerated, even distorted. I'm not lying! The king must come and see for himself! His majesty is occupied elsewhere. If you seek aid, you will not find it here. Then at least let me tell the king myself! He might believe me! Hey! Stop! Don't go! King Dark Cacao Cookie, have you really abandoned us? My king, another bothersome petitioner came seeking your presence. I have sent them off, just like the others. <sighs> your majesty, I believe they find it odd that the castle gates are locked. There are... voices of dissent as well. <sighs> The burdens that weigh heavily upon my shoulders. There are none who understand. We must not falter. It is imperative that our defenses be bolstered, as per the plan. My liege, your humble servant stands in awe before your wisdom. With your blessing, I shall oversee the day-to-day -day undertaking so that your majesty may strengthen our walls without distractions. These walls are the only defenses between our lands and the licorice sea. We must remain vigilant, for those foul beasts may strike at any moment. For now, we continue to fortify our defenses and keep a wary eye towards the sea. This entire continent's fate is at stake. There's a village right below the walls of the Dark Cacao Citadel. It's just up ahead. We just need to head there and deliver this letter. <laughs> Let, let's hurry on then. A fading hope that the castle has some hot chocolate is what's keeping me warm. <laughs> it's freezing out here! Who said hot chocolate? The perfect drink for a king! Come now, my faithful subjects. Hand me the letter and I will lead the way! <laughs> you kidding? A small tot like you would get buried under all this snow! Oh well. Guess we'll come pick you up in summer! Come on! Just a little further! Then we'll all have a good rest next to a cozy fire. <sighs> Hold on a moment. Did you hear that? It's just the wind, pointy hat! Put some milk on the fire, lad. We have guests. 
Over here, travelers. This way. Oh, 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 wow. Thanks for letting us in. What was that? A local variety of a lion? Its mane was so... so... so fierce. Ah, ran into one of those beasts, I see. No need to fret anymore. You're safe here. Besides, cookies should help cookies, no? It's a shame that our own king will not help us. But it's times like these where we of the Milk Village shine, for we are stalwart and strong. Here now, have some warm milk and heat yourselves up. An excellent offer! Thank you, kind cookie! Uh, uh, wait, what did you mean when you said your own king won't help you? Hold on. You're not from the Dark Cacao Kingdom, are you? No wonder you're so lightly dressed for this cold. You must be coming from the south, right? My dear guests, what is it like? Is it always warm? Tell me everything. <laughs> now, now, Grandpappy, we talked about this. First, you must answer our question. What do you mean your king won't help? The Watchers once protected us, kept us safe. But ever since they stopped their patrols, wild beasts have been prowling about, approaching closer every day. Our village is still hanging in there. Others have scattered to other lands. Rumors say that entire tribes and clans have become bandits. Huh, that's weird. Dark Cacao Cookie isn't helping other cookies? The king has locked the Citadel gates. As of late, he is fixated on strengthening the Great Wall that defends the Kingdom of the Licorice Sea. I am not speaking ill of King Dark Cacao Cookie. After all, the Kingdom and our tribe have been allies for generations. We brought a letter from a friend of Dark Cacao Cookie. I'm sure he'll be happy to read it. But no one is allowed inside the Black Citadel. How are you going to deliver the letter? It has been long since I've laid eyes upon the king. The king swore to be our shield. But where has he gone? Are the talks true? Is that king nothing but an echo of the past? There's a nip in the air. Yet another night spent out in the wilds. At least I've had my fill of boar jellies. <laughs> a moon has passed since I've departed from the Black Citadel. I hope my Lord Dark Cacao Cookie is faring well. <sighs> I pray that the remaining Watchers do not fall victim to indignation. That deceitful snake. I swear to return to the Citadel and prove my innocence! Your Majesty, a little bird has told me that the First Watcher has been shirking her duties and lollygagging at the villages, handing out rations most likely stolen from the Citadel's pantries. There is no truth to these claims. It was my own rations that I decided to share and my own time I've invested in order to keep our land safe. How impetuous! Are you accusing this humble court of failing to serve our cookies? Are you implying that His Majesty's aides are selfish, greedy, and conniving? Noble Caramel Arrow Cookie, stay your tongue! You have twisted my words and their intent. If loitering outside these walls is what you enjoy, why not be repositioned as first snow plower? My liege, I believe it wise that this lackadaisical cookie before you be banished from our stalwart citadel. Mm. So be it. My king? Please, my king, I am... Caramel Arrow Cookie. Heed my words. You need not return. Your spirit has always been one with the wilds. 
akin to the deer roaming the frost-ridden mountains. My... my king... What wisdom was hidden within your words? Perhaps I am overthinking. No more tears, Caramel Arrow Cookie. Concentrate. Keep busy. This is a matter of perspective. There are so many tasks that I can fulfill out here. Focus. You can't stop now. I have to carve and fletch 20 arrows a day to ward off the wild beasts and defend against bandits. It's back! Huh? Cookies? Are they in danger? Are they fending off beasts? Hold on! Help is on the way! It's back! Whose idea was it to come this way? Run for it! Stop! Do not run! You must not scatter! What do you mean, don't run? This thing won't back down no matter how hard we try! I'm so exhausted. I feel so c c c cold and sleepy. Listen to me, travelers. Whatever happens, stay awake and focus on the danger at hand. To have lasted this long on your own, you've much skill in combat. Now leave the rest to me. The Wraith of the Peaks, a snow lion, a fast, agile, and unyielding beast indeed. But can you dodge this? Take this! Is everyone safe and in one piece? When I heard your cries for help, I feared I was too late. But all of you are much tougher than you seem. May I ask which village the lot of you call home? We're from the faraway Cookie Kingdom. You saved our dough back there. And that's a really cool looking bow. Mm, yeah, would you look at that fancy bow? Expensive, huh? Let me take a close look at it. Your boots are very intriguing. Are they designed to help you walk in the snow? Oh, these old things? <laughs> I laced the bottoms with cords of straw to help myself hike through the snowy peaks. But first, allow me to introduce myself. I am a humble servant of the King, a member of the Watchers. Caramel Arrow Cookie, at your service. A pleasure to meet you, Caramel Arrow Cookie. Today, you have saved a king! <laughs> That's me! <laughs> I am relieved to see that all of you are uninjured. Now that the danger has passed, I shall be on my way. Farewell, travelers! Wait! You said you're one of the king's servants, right? What luck! We have a message that we need to deliver to Dark Cacao Cookie. Can you take us to the castle? Ah. Well, the thing is... <sighs> the truth is, I was banished from the castle. I have fallen victim to false slander and accusations. I... cannot go back. Huh? That's not nice at all! What king would do such a thing? Certainly not me! Hmm... Perhaps the rumors are true. Maybe King Dark Cacao Cookie really has changed... for the worst! No, 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 no. That is far from the truth. The King is, and will always be, an awe-inspiring leader. But that sniveling snake, whispering those poisonous rumors into the King's ear. Sounds to me like things are going to be a little more complicated than we expected. Pardon? The old allies of the Dark Cacao Kingdom are rising up once more? We've seen the Vanilla and Hollyberry Kingdoms with our own eyes. And this letter must reach King Dark Cacao Cookie. It was written by none other than pure vanilla cookie. Earthbread is in danger. Dark Cacao Cookie's support will be of immense help. Are you certain? Hmm. Then there is hope after all. That's the spirit! 
Any king would be proud to have a loyal servant such as yourself. Let's go to the castle together and talk with Dark Cacao Cookie himself. Then let us be off. I shall lead you to the king. Yeah, let's go! Time to meet Dark Cacao Cookie. Whoa! Look at that giant chocolate slab! What is this for? This is a monument to honor watchers who have fallen in the line of duty. These are... Uh, were... the names of my comrades in arms. Having your name inscribed here is the greatest honor for cookies of the Dark Cacao Kingdom. Though I truly miss them, I am honored to have served together. Not a speck of dust or grime. It is good to see that this place is still held in high regard, despite our kingdom's situation. If you would permit, may I light an incense stick to honor the fallen while we are here? My friends, my family, ever keeping watch upon the Great Wall and Mountains, it is I, Caramel Arrow Cookie. Please, aid me in my effort to greet our king once more. The gates have been barred shut? But this means no one is able to go in or out. Hear me! Is anyone on duty? Open the gates! Turn back! Huh? Caramel Arrow Cookie? Why did you come? My friend, you should not be here. Though I may be in exile, I go where I wish. These travelers are on a quest of great importance. They must meet the king. Honorable Caramel Arrow Cookie, though I wish to help you, I simply... Crumbs! What is the meaning of this commotion? Who dares to spot trouble at our gates? You! Lazing about more than usual, I see. Just how many sweets and delicacies have you gorged yourself on? Caramel Arrow Cookie. I do not recall any retractions regarding your banishment. Your presence here is in direct defiance of our king. You treacherous! I would never defy your king! It is your deceitful whispers that have caused me this shame! Oh, I quite agree. Shameful indeed. Look at you. Though shamed, you still have a sense of loyalty. But tell me, why has the king never summoned you? Dishonorable worm! It is all because of these poisonous falsities you spew about! Stand aside! I shall personally ask the king about my so-called crimes. She's right! We have to meet King Dark Cacao Cookie. We need to deliver an important letter for him, and for his eyes only. Cool. Bringing vagrants to our great citadel as well. Our king is preoccupied with a matter of great importance. He cannot be disturbed, nor will I allow such a disturbance. Be gone. What just happened? That cookie treated you with so much disrespect! My apologies. I have brought shame upon us all. Huh? I'm sure it's not your fault. But I have yet to give up. I know of many hidden passages that can take us into the Citadel. Follow me. Hold position in front of that entrance. I shall open the door for you from the inside. Sounds like a plan! Thanks, Caramel Arrow Cookie! <laughs> 